Tala here. I've been using screen protectors pretty much since forever. Every phone I've owned has had a screen protector, preferably glass, applied to it. When I picked up the Note 9, I did some research on tempered glass screen protectors and realized how many terrible ones were out there for the curved glass. After getting a lot of recommendations and reading raving reviews, I landed on the White Stone Dome. I also quickly realized that it was $60 and the frugal side of me was like, damn that's pricey. I had to try it though because everyone was recommending it. After buying the replacement kit by accident and almost botching the install, it thankfully turned out perfect on my Note 9. So three months later, it's still on and I have to say, this is the best screen protector I've ever used. With my Pixel 3, I decided to try out some other alternatives off Amazon, but every single one would either not fit or would not stay on. So when White Stone Dome reached out to me and offered to send out their new Pixel 3 screen protector, I said, yes, please. I finally have the Pixel 3 kit here and White Stone informed me that it will be available on Amazon early December. I'll have it linked in the description the moment they become available. Anyways, is this the best screen protector for the Pixel 3? Let's slap it on and find out. To get started, use the alcohol wipes and microfiber cloth that's provided in the box and gently wipe to clean the front and sides of the phone screen. Next up, place your device in the center of the bottom tray. Make sure to flip your phone 180 degrees so that the front facing camera is aligned with the bottom tray that's labeled speaker. This kind of threw me off a little bit. The instructions were a little bit confusing here. You want to then attach the speaker masking film, also known as the connector film, to the hole behind the top tray, right behind the blue sticker label. There are designated hole cutouts that fit perfectly into the backing, so just make sure it's aligned. Take the top tray and combine it to the bottom tray, aligning all four corners. Your device should be locked securely in between here. Now to be extra safe, I put a little pressure on the connector sticker, just in case. Take the other speaker masking film and attach it to the opposite speaker. Now you want to grab the two absorption pads and insert each one on the opposite sides of the top tray. To make sure your screen is clear of any dust, use the dust removal sticker and stick away. Position the bridge over the center of the phone into dedicated slots on either side. Now grab the local glue and unscrew the colored end and place it into the slot on bridge. Once in place, unscrew the black lid and the glue will release onto the phone. Wait 30 seconds for glue to completely drain. Once 30 seconds has passed, remove the bridge completely. Next up, grab the screen protector itself and peel away the protector film facing downwards to ensure no dust lands on it. Line it up with the phone, starting at the bottom and drop it so that it rests on the blue label. Okay, the next part threw me off a bit because this was completely new compared to what I did on the Note 9. Grabbing the slide bar, position it near the bottom at a 45 degree angle. Slide upwards at a 5 second pace to reach the very top. The screen protector will drop and local glue will begin to spread. Cross your fingers and hope for the best. Give it about a minute and a half to properly spread. Then you'll want to grab the UV light to begin the curing process. Cure 15 seconds for the top and 15 seconds for the bottom. Once done, take your phone out and remove any excess glue using the alcohol wipe. And the final step is the second curing. This time around, you want to do 60 seconds at the top and 60 seconds at the bottom, and you're done. I just finished my installation, and thankfully, it turned out perfectly. Um, you guys were unable to see this, but as I was installing everything, I my heart was racing the entire time. I'm going to be joking. I think I was sweating too. But okay, so let's just power on my phone to make sure that everything is still working smoothly. So I'm going to just do that right now, please work. All right, here's the screen protector on the Pixel 3. I'm very happy with the installation. I highly, highly recommend reading the instructions over carefully and laying everything you need out in advance. 
If you notice bubbles after in the initial curing process, try putting some pressure on it with your thumb and then curing the area again. I also tried on a bunch of cases and none of them caused the screen protector to lift. There's a very slight gap along the sides. So I would say it's pretty case friendly. I get a lot of questions on how the screen protector is holding up on the Note 9. So it's been a little over 3 months since I've applied it and it's honestly still in perfect condition. The bubbles I initially had disappeared after a few days. My only major complaint was that dust and lint would collect around the edges of the screen protector. It's still present, but definitely not as severe as when I first installed it. Overall, I've been extremely pleased with the white stone dome on my Note 9. My personal experience with it has been very good. The price may be a barrier for some, but if you can swallow the price tag, I have no problems recommending it at all. Before I go, Whitestone was kind enough to provide me with some discount codes to share with you all. So just leave a peace emoji and your social media handle in the comment section and I'll randomly select and contact you with a discount code. Thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one, peace. Bye.